Okay, and here's uh, probably the easiest way. I think uh, my previous video was a lot of work, although it's a good practice for editing lots of tracks together um, when you they don't necessarily go in order. This is a real quick shortcut for two tracks that need to go end to end. So let's see, this is track one. Hello, this is track part one. Track one. And this. And this is track two. Track two. Yep. So if there if it's real simple, two or three tracks, or even even a bunch of tracks and they're all very sequential, it's easy to do this way. I can do select all, which is my command A shortcut where you can select all there, right? Okay, so then I go to tracks. I can align tracks and I align them end to end. So now here So, two tracks, highlight them both, go to tracks, and they align the tracks. Now, if you align them all, let's say you recorded a whole bunch and they're all over the place and you need to align them to start at zero, you can do that. You can, you know, there's lots of different options right here, but this one is the one that's easiest, align end to end here. Now, this piece right here is highlighted because this was my original selection. I think it's the length of this um, this track. But you can also, while you're here, track one, and this is track two. So if you wanted to take this space here, right? And this. It's a pretty long space. And you wanted to shorten it, you could do it a number of different ways. You can just take the highlighted text, highlight selection there, and delete it. Or you could change your tool to the time shift tool. And track one, and this is track two. Track two. So now they're aligned. Anyway, that's yet one more way to align those tracks. Thanks.